What is up you guys and a welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are going to be talking about the fall winter trends of course. This is more like a continuation on my last video. I have already done one of these if you guys haven't seen it definitely go check it out. I will leave it linked in the description box below but I'm basically going to end this little series here. I know I normally do more trends but I really just wanted to zero in and focus on the ones that I'm truly interested in so we have about, hmm, I would say like four trends, give or take, that we're going to be talking about, showing and telling in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first trend I want to talk about is colored leather. My OG subscribers, my followers on Instagram, you guys know I've been teasing you about this for at least two weeks, probably even more, about how many fun interesting cool colored leather pieces that I have picked up recently so I'm definitely going to be showing you guys those the reason I have been doing it is because they are so on trend this season I've actually been super into this trend for a few years now if you guys are familiar with my thrifting videos then you know I love I die for a good leather piece I thrift so much leather I am here for it all the way I have a thousand leather jackets and I even did I want to say last year or even towards the beginning of this year a full video on my leather collection so if I can find that video I will link it down below I should be able to find it I don't think I, I deleted it or anything but I've just really been into leather the thing that I love about this season and last season is that colorful leather has been it it's been the thing I don't know why I never even thought to look for leather and other fun colors I've always of course you've always you, you always think to look for leather and black or brown and even like I have a bright neon pink leather skirt that I've had for a couple years now I've definitely worn it before on my Instagram and maybe like way far down there in the feed but other than like pink red blue black and brown I've never even thought to look for leather in some of the fun colors that I have now so I'm so excited to show you guys those pieces I will be styling everything towards the end of the video so stay tuned for that but colored leather is a trend I am so down for and even when it's not a trend I'm still gonna be down for definitely still keeping my eyes out in uh not out I'm keeping my eyes peeled um and keeping a look out for more colored leather pieces to add to my collection I would love to find something that's more of like a patchwork colored leather vibe or situation because I feel like I would love a jacket that had patchwork leather but like a soft buttery leather and bright fun color so I am kind of looking out for something like that I do have a skirt that kind of mimics that in a way but it's like all different shades of pink I want some fun bright primary colors in a leather piece so I do have my eye out for that the next trend that I did want to touch on is trench coats and I'm going to kind of piggyback this off of the leather trend I love a good trench coat I have a, a decent amount of trench coats if we're really being honest here my jacket collection is really out of control it always has been and I'm trying to sort through it so I've been throwing up a lot of my jackets on Poshmark I still have probably about 20 that I need to throw up and some of them do include some other leather pieces so hopefully by the time this video goes live I will have more up I love a good trench coat and I've been noticing that I'm seeing more trench coats in fun colors again I love a basic piece something that's supposed to be a staple in your wardrobe that's in like a fun print or a fun color so I definitely have picked up last year yeah last year or the last two years I've picked up a couple trench style coats that are in fun colors but I have also picked up a couple new ones recently so I can't wait to show you guys those and one thing I have noticed is I am starting to see more leather trench coats so we're kind of combining two different trends leather and the trench and to be able to find a leather trench coat in a fun color now that's really the goal I would love to find a like red leather trench coat or an orange leather trench coat oh my gosh if I could find that I have my eyes open I'm looking if you go on Zara you will notice they have a faux leather trench coat H&M had a faux leather trench coat plain black leather blazers have been everywhere I cannot wait to can't wait to show you guys these leather pieces are so good but anyways that is um the second trend well kind of a combination leather trench coats fun colors another trend that I really love is jewel tones jewel tones is an actual color trend this year and I love it 
I used to think that I didn't like color or that I wasn't really the colorful type. But then when I took a step back and looked into my closet and the colors that I was buying constantly, I realized I buy a lot of bold, like vibrant jewel tone colors. And that's really where I live. That's my comfort zone. I love a good jewel tone. So I'm glad that that's more of a trend because I'm noticing that I'm starting to find more things retail, like online that are in these fun jewel tone colors. But again, I, I thrift a, a majority of these things. So I find a lot of thrifted jewel tone pieces, which again, we will get to because I'm going to show you. Another trend that I really like is the whole color stories trend. So aside from pieces, I do want to talk about just trends in general. Color stories have been such a big thing. Some people call it monochromatic looks, but for me, I like to call it a color story because it's a little bit different. Monochromatic, you have like all the same colors, but when you have a color story, our color story today is purple. So we are gonna have a lavender shirt with a dark purple bottom and a, and a knitted purple sweater overneath it. Overneath, what am I doing? Do I just need to coin that term? What am I talking about? It's, there's no such thing as overneath it. Anyways, I love the whole idea of mixing different shades of the same color, but not only different shades, incorporating different textures and patterns and materials that are all in the same color story. So every color on the spectrum of that one spectrum of purple, you're putting together a look like that, or brown, or blue, or red, or green, or orange. I just love an outfit that's about an entire color story. It's so interesting to look at. And I think that some people find monochromatic kind of hard to do, but if you think of it as a color story where you're looking for different shades of the same colors and different patterns and materials and textures of the same color, that's really how you make a look that is monochromatic come to life. So obviously monochromatics is a trend, people are doing it, but I like to look at it as more of a color story. That's a trend I am absolutely loving. Another one that I am loving is this whole like prep school chic vibe. I have quite Quite a few plaid pieces and tartan pieces hounds too like I have a lot of textures and materials that are in that kind of uh, trend and I have a really fun piece that I'm gonna be showing you guys as well but I find that I do really like a hounds tooth the tartan a plaid print a lot in the fall but I love them in bright fun colors or even traditional colors are fun but a trend that I have been seeing is mixing the two so you let's say you have a black and white hounds tooth but mix, mixing it with a red black and white plaid I love the whole mixing of these prints. Um, I guess you would call it more of like mixed media, which of course is a trend, but the difference between color blocking and mixing prints and mixed media is mixed media is all on the same garment. Dolce & Gabbana actually did a really good job of this on the upcoming Spring 21 show that they did. I may even insert a few examples, like maybe two examples of that, but mixed media is when you have a bunch of prints all on the same garment. So you have a shirt that has a bunch of different patches of different prints mixed together. That's mixed media. Mixing prints is when you have like a leopard shirt and you mix it with like plaid plaid pants. That's that's kind of the difference there. But I am noticing that mixed media is a trend, but also mixing prints with different plaids and doing the whole mixed media thing with plaids. So I do really like that. That is a trend I'm totally here and down for, along with like the patchwork vibe. I think the patchwork is more like 70s. And I do really like this. I like patchwork with rich materials, like nice thick plaids, nice thick knits. I love, love that. Another trend that I do want to talk about, which I feel like I can kind of mix this with another trend. As you guys know, fashion is inspired so much by history. And what I have been noticing is that one of the trends I've been seeing a lot of is, what did I call this? Like a vintage silhouette. Vintage silhouettes have been huge, whether it's taking inspiration from Renaissance, whether it's taking um, inspiration from the 70s, the 30s, the 50s, like these vintage silhouettes are really starting to come alive, which is why I think it's such a time for thrifting because once upon a time, like when I started thrifting, it was very easy to find stuff from the 80s and you found like 80s, early 90s gold, okay? But now it's getting harder and harder to find. Thank God I thrifted all of my 
vintage blouses during the time where people were not looking for them. If you go back into some of my old thrift videos from a few years ago, you will see that I have been thrifting vintage blouses for a long time, vintage sweaters for a long time, and just overall vintage pieces for a very long time. I am a huge lover of vintage, but more specifically, the 80s and the early 90s. So I'm noticing that vintage silhouettes are really a thing with the pussy bows around the neck and the big poofy shoulders and the poet sleeves. And if you guys are not familiar with the poet sleeve and like what the difference is, I'm going to insert something right here. There's a lot of controversy on what you can call this. So I'm sure somebody might even say that I'm wrong, but this is my understanding of what a poet sleeve is. And this is always what I have called a poet sleeve. So I do love that. I like the big billowy collars, the ruffly collars. I, I love that. I love that so much. But even more than that, I like what would you call this i think this is like maybe more of a 30s 40s type of silhouette but where it's like fitted pin up girl i like that vibe in a dress now i won't do the whole entire full look but if it's in a dress or it's in a skirt or something like that i'm here for it i love it i've been noticing a lot more of that now here is a look right here i am obsessed with this look more than i can even tell you first of all i love the print i love the print so much and I like the back, like the, what is it? The train that's hanging off the back. Now, I have this one blazer that looks like a conductor blazer. It has a full on tail hanging off of it, but the front of it is a cropped blazer. Cropped blazers are huge. Cropped blazers are so on trend and I actually cropped a few blazers maybe towards the end of last year, beginning of this year because I saw them coming up but I just could not find them anywhere. Nobody was selling a cropped blazer so I had to literally do it myself because I couldn't find them anywhere and now they're starting to come up a little bit more. You still can't like really easily find them everywhere, not a good quality one at least but I feel like by the end of this next year not the end of this year i can't wait till this year's over but the end of next year they'll be a lot easier to find that's what this look reminds me of i just love the whole vibe of this look i love the whole kind of menswear suiting part of it and just all the small details that make this look a little bit more edgy this look would look banging with a red lip i have to say so i love this print i love this whole entire look and Definitely, this is giving me inspiration for how I want to wear one of the blazers that I'm talking about, maybe when it gets a little bit cooler. So I thrifted it actually towards the end of last year in November when I went thrifting in Vegas. You guys would know what blazer I'm talking about if you saw that video. I never even got a chance to wear it because like quarantine happened, I turned around and we were stuck. So I never really got a chance to style it up and wear it like I wanted to. I did want to talk about a few accessory trends Okay, there's this trend, it's not a trend yet, but mark my words, I feel like it's gonna be a trend. It was definitely a huge trend in like the late 80s, early 90s. I remember my mom doing this. Women would take, they would have like a basic pump, pointy toe, round toe or whatever, and they would put what looked like a clip on earring at the front of it to kind of make the shoe look like it had a brooch on it. Shoe brooch, I guess you could call it a shoe brooch. Mark my words, I really feel like that is gonna be a thing come next year because it's such a cool way to buy a basic pair of black pumps and really switch it up and change up the vibe depending on what your outfit is. So I really hope, fingers crossed, that shoe brooches become a thing. But until then, I will definitely be going um, on the hunt for some really fun, cool clip-on earrings because it looks the same and it will do the same job. We're trend forecasting at this point. We're not talking about trends that are already here, but mark my words start looking for this trend now another thing that i really love is the printed tights i love the fun designs that are on tights right now i definitely have the gucci tights which i wore all of twice before i wasn't able to wear them anymore so i can't wait to pull those back out but chanel has a new pair of tights with the cc logo all over it i really want them it really depends on how much it is the Gucci tights I can get behind because it's made of like more of a fishnet material so I don't feel like it's as delicate but if the Chanel tights are made out of like a regular stocking material I just know I'm not going to be able to do it because I refuse to pay whatever I feel like those tights are going to be like $500 and I refuse to pay that much money for something that's going to snag so easily so fingers crossed it's made of a really good material and it is not 
gonna be that expensive. But I love those. I love a good slouchy boot. Boots that have embellishments on it, studded boots. And then obviously the, the lug sole boots. Those are huge, chunky boots um, have been huge since I feel like last year. So I definitely love the trend. I have a pair of Doc Martens, a pair of Puma Fenty um, shoes you would have seen in one of my other style videos that I just, I love. As soon as I saw them, I had to have them because they were in a color that I had never really seen these chunky boots coming out in yet. I think now they have some where it's like contrasting white in a black sole, but I still haven't really seen any ones that look quite like that. And of course, we redesigned them. So, you know, homegirl's always been ahead of the trend. The other thing I wanted to talk about is, oh uh, gosh, let me see if I have it here. Maybe I have it in here. It's not in here. Okay, I was talking about this with one of my subscribers on Instagram. I thrifted this dress, obviously a vintage dress that had one of those clips on it that cinched the back. It just had like a claw clip that went on each side and then like a scrunchy type of material in between. I would love to see those come back out because belts have been a thing for a while, but this is kind of like, I would put it in the belt category, but it's not quite a belt. So if they were to come out with some really fun ones with chains hanging from them, with embellishments or flowers or just elaborate ones that you could just clip on the back of an oversized shirt, blazer, dress, that would just be absolutely amazing. You know, if you start seeing it, just know they stole the idea from me. You heard it here first. But if I can figure out a way to like DIY something like that, I definitely will. I feel like that is next when it comes to accessory trends. That is pretty much what I have to talk about. I'm going to show you some different variations of these trends. I have everything right here. So we are going to get into this haul because not only are these things that have to do with these trends, but these are things that I have thrifted recently. So let's go. So we have changed positions because I wanted to be able to show you everything on the rack so you can see it really good. Uh, you, you might be able to tell we're starting with colored leather and you can already see some of the fun, amazing colors that I have been able to find. The first pieces that I want to start with are these leather minis like these are absolutely amazing i personally have never seen such fun colors in leather so when i came across these i actually got these on poshmark there's a few quite a few leather pieces that i got on poshmark and then some things i got on depop so i'll tell you what those are but this is one of the or two of the items that i got on poshmark because it was just easiest to find them there so this started off life hold on let me take them off the hanger but both of these started off life as long below the knee skirts or knee length skirts and you know i like that and everything but that just wasn't what i was going for i wanted to freshen it up and make it a little bit more modern i cropped them <laughs> and this one was a little bit big so i literally split it down the middle um, measured it to myself to alter it and then re-sewed it back together so it had a much better fit and leather is not easy to sew let me just say that from this point forward i will likely be taking all of mine to get altered because <laughs> i'm not trying to do this anytime soon and i have a, a, my eye on a few pieces so yeah I'm, I'm not altering any more leather but i love this skirt i love this color i think it's going to be so fun to style during the fall winter and i also really love this beautiful pumpkin orange color i actually might even wear this on halloween because it's just such a fun color um it goes like this yeah but i love this uh, went ahead and <laughs> shortened this one and left it with the raw hem fortunately this was the kind of leather that i could do a raw hem it didn't really need to be sewed or anything but two of my favorite pieces that i absolutely love because the colors are just so fun all right i went ahead and moved the camera down just a little bit because i wanted you guys to be able to see everything clearly the next piece that i'm going to talk about is again another posh mark fine and it is these green leather pants you're going to be able to see them better in the try on but they are really really long and they have more of a, a wide leg almost boyfriend fit they are high waist the thing that sold me on these was this pleating detail right here. This is how I want my leather pants to fit. This is the silhouette I want. So I'm actually still looking for this exact silhouette in black. I was looking for black and came across green and I was like, oh, I like that color green. I'm going to get it. This one was another one again that came with a raw hem. So when I got these, these were like literally, actually I have it right here. 
this is how much longer <laughs> they were on me so I had to cut this part off of them but again it came with the raw hem so it wasn't a big deal for me to just crop them to my perfect length and now I have these they are so comfortable they are lined so they are not sweaty they're not gonna make me feel gross they're definitely really heavy so you want to wear them when it's cooler weather otherwise you will sweat like you would not believe but they are absolutely amazing and you just cannot get any better than this color still on the hunt for like a gray pair I did actually order a gray pair off of Poshmark but the person gave me the wrong measurement, so when I got them here, they definitely did not fit, which was sad because I was so looking forward to an all gray color story, but still on the hunt for some other fun colors. Now that I have these, I kind of know exactly which measurements I need to check for before I buy them. So pleased with these though. Also, fun fact, these pants and these two skirts came from the same Poshmark seller, and I'm not gonna say who it is because she still has a few more leather pieces that I am definitely gonna buy so I'm gonna buy them all up before you guys have a chance to know who it is but she has a like a bright bold red color skirt she has a chocolate brown one and she has like an aqua sky baby bluish one so yes I'm about to buy all of those and make them into minis and then my whole colorful leather collection will be complete I really want the brown one and you will see why in a second. Now as far as jackets, you guys would have seen me thrift this in a like, couple videos ago. And it is this hot pink, bright, vibrant, what is this, fuchsia jacket with shoulder pads. I really love this belt detail right here. It does have this very 80s pleating. When I tell you that this looks amazing buckled up, it looks amazing buckled up. I will definitely style it that way as well as wear it open. I am obsessed with this. I cannot believe I found this. A lady was literally holding it up as I walked into the thrift store and I was thinking, I could tell from a distance it was where I was like, oh God, I hope she puts it down. I went next to her, kind of tried to play it off a little bit, just trying to peep if she put it down. And as soon as she put it down, I switched sides with her and I grabbed it. And I feel like she looked, <laughs> she probably was like, dang, I should have took it. Now there is a story behind this piece right here. You guys, I have been looking for this jacket for three years now, no lie. I found it once on Poshmark, was ready to bid on it and everything. And when I went to go put an offer in, it was literally gone like that. It was like somebody within five minutes of me being able to put in an offer, bought it right out from under me and I was devastated. And it took me another three years to find it. So finally found it on a Depop shop named Details Vintage. And she actually has a YouTube channel on here. I believe her name is Haley Walker. And so I saw this on her page. She had it in this color and she had it in black. And I was like, girl, I need that jacket. So she gave me a fantastic deal on it. I bought it from her. It has gold hardware, which you guys know, I've been looking for more leather with gold hardware lately. So it was just absolutely perfect. And now that I have this jacket, I am never letting it go. I will have this jacket in my collection forever. It fits perfectly and I'm just, I'm just dying to wear it. Now all I need to do is find a brown version of this and I would love to find like a cream version of this or a white version of this. This is my preferred silhouette for leather jackets to be honest with you. If I could buy this jacket in every single color, I would. I do also have this in suede with fringe in a forest green which was in my leathers collection video. Hopefully I have links in the description box. Now this is the star of the show. This is the teaser that I put on Instagram. So they saw it first. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should. I tease everything there first. But it is this suit that I found on Poshmark. The skirt started off life as a knee length skirt. This is one that I took to get altered even before I got these because I just knew I needed this to come out right. So I had it altered into a mini. She did an amazing job and I am obsessed. I literally will probably have this forever and it just looks so amazing on. The thing that I am so like, I first of all got this for 30 bucks on Poshmark. You cannot beat the price. But even aside from that, I would totally wear the skirt by itself. I would totally wear the leather blazer by itself. I mean, let's talk about the fact that leather blazers are even a trend. Colored leather is a trend. So I have a colored leather blazer and the silhouette is really awesome because it kind of goes uh, it kind of goes off to the side and then it has this detail right here which i really love this whole entire thing is a trend it's also a skirt suit set so i have a leather colored leather 
skirt suit set, which is absolutely amazing. I styled this up into a color story for Instagram, which you will also be seeing at the end of this video if you stay tuned. And then another purple piece I got, um, I thrifted this some videos back as well as this suede fringe purple situation here. When I first saw this, I was like, I need it. I snatched it immediately. And then this one I thrifted off of Poshmark as well. I was really looking for just leather blazers in general and this came up under leather blazers. Definitely I think it's more 90s. And this matches exactly a pair of slouchy gold Stuart Weitzman boots that I have. And then you guys, this is not even part of a thrift haul but I just wanted to kind of touch on this trend again. It's suede so it is part of the leather trend and it is a cropped blazer. I got this on a good deal on Revolve for a hundred bucks and it was originally, actually it was 120. I got it, it was 120. And it was originally like $400, so it was a great deal. Now this is a leather jacket I thrifted at the same time as the pink one. And it is this chocolate brown one right here. I love this detail right here. Can you see that? It's like so good. And it can actually be kind of like rolled up too if you wanna make the cuff a little bit shorter. And I feel like when I tried this on and I buttoned it, it can almost pass, actually I think it can. I'll, I'll just wear like tights and like bike shorts under it, but this can pass as a leather dress. When I buttoned it all the way up, if I were to pass this off as a leather dress, it would totally work. So I feel like I got a two for it and it's chocolate brown, the color of the season, and it's just such a fun silhouette. So I was so pumped to find this. At the same time that I found the pink one too, I was just, I've really been having some great thrift luck lately. Thrift gods are definitely showing me a little favor because I hung in there when I was having such bad thrift trips. So this is actually another star of the show. I have been trying to find the perfect black leather blazer. I had three before this and it was just kind of like Goldilocks and the three bears. None of it was just quite right, you know? Until I found this one right here. Now tell me, this does not look like the exact full leather blazer that is on Zara right now. I will insert a picture for your photo reference, but yes, this is basically the real version of what Zara is trying to sell for over $100. I got this and I think I got it for $14.99 or $12.99 and it fits absolutely perfect. It is everything that I wanted for a leather blazer. So I have this and then I have a slightly more oversized version that I'm keeping and then I took one of my other leather blazers Threw it up on Poshmark. I have another vintage Gap one that I'm about to throw up on Poshmark. So again, hopefully it's up there by the time you're seeing this. But I now finally have my two perfect leather black blazers. This was another Poshmark find. Definitely I'm not going to be able to fit this in the frame or I'm going to try. But this is a leather trench and it's by Wilson's. I've been looking for the Wilson's version of the leather trench for a little bit now because I really wanted a leather trench. I saw one on H&M, I was this close, I was this close to getting it. However, I'm just not big. If it's not like faux leather pants, um, or even just like a faux leather mini skirt, which I'm kind of deviating from anyway, I'm just not the biggest fan of buying faux leather because I know how easy it is to find it in the thrift store. You just gotta hang in there. So I didn't wanna buy any of the faux leather trenches and I'm so glad I held out because I found this on Poshmark for 20 bucks. You guys, I paid 20 bucks for this. And it has all, ah! It has all the traditional trench details and it even has like more detail when it comes to the buttons. If you can see that right there. It didn't have the lining, which I live in California. I didn't really care about the lining. Plus I have linings from other trench coats that probably could fit in here if I really wanted to, but I don't. It's a heavy coat, like it's really heavy. So I'm just, I'm like literally rounding out my leather collection and this is amazing. Now another piece, you guys. Like, when I saw this, I was like, okay, I I have to get it. First of all, look at the back. This is leather and suede. Can you see that detail? Now this one, I wasn't sure if it was too small for me, but after trying it on several times and the way that it completely closes up here on me and kind of flares out, I'm starting to think that that's how it was intended to be worn because it doesn't feel tight around my arms. It's not tight up here. It literally just flares out once it gets to the hips or it was made where a woman with like really large breasts and like a small narrow waist. That's the only other thing I can think of, but it definitely was specially made because the tag is right here that says when it was made on September 20th, 1990, it was made by Jonathan John. So I don't think I'm gonna be selling this guys. I said I might, 
maybe down the line we'll see but i feel like for now it's such a special piece that i have to keep it okay on to another absolutely amazing piece in my last thrift video i was thrifting i had a couple things i mean i didn't find too much because i've just been finding such great things lately that i was like you know i i'll get these few things but then i saw this and i put everything back <laughs> And it is this Hater Ackerman Moto Style jacket. One of the movie studios had just dropped this off and it was in the front behind the counter. And I saw it when I was approaching her to pay and I was like, is, is that real leather? And she's like, yeah, I think it is. And when she handed it to me and I saw the label, I was like, oh, sold. I'm getting it. I asked her, I said, can I please try this on? I, I, I'm going to get it, but can I please try this on? And she said, yeah tried it on fit perfect I was like sold I'm done I put everything else back that I had and I got this for 50 bucks and I love the metallic on it because it was the movie studios had dropped it off I feel like they did alter this a little bit or customize it a little bit because all the other versions of this jacket that I have found online are really bold goals i feel like maybe they faded it out a bit or maybe this was just a custom piece for whatever show it was find of the century okay now i have a couple other pieces that have to go with the trends i did want to show this suede skirt i love the way that this fits my body and i have been bringing my measuring tape with me to go thrifting um i have like a bendable one that I just put in my bag just so I can kind of when I come across pieces like this I can measure the waist and just know if it's gonna fit so I did that with this and knew it was gonna fit beautifully the thing that I love about this is the bottom look at that bottom detail I love that so much this is such an amazing piece such a soft leather I do style this up at the end of this video so you can stay tuned for that and then I saw this fits great it's like a velvet royal blue mini skirt and I thought this was really good for the jewel tones trend not to mention I love mixing textures so mixing velvet with some silk or velvet with some leather is going to be really cool this was originally from Urban Outfitters so nothing too spectacular but it fit me I loved it and I like that it was just a basic piece all right as far as the longer coat trend goes I spotted this J Gallery down coat and I I had to have it I just loved the fun puff details that were on it and I do have a green long puffer style coat that I got from where did I get it from I think I got it from Shein and I wore it so much last season so I knew that I would likely wear this one a lot as well it looks so good on and it can change up the entire vibe of your look so I had to snag this had to pick it up this is again one of those that will probably live in my closet forever because it's such a special piece and then for the colorful trench coat trend this is one that I thrifted recently and it is this like blue color I don't know if you can kind of see but it has a shift to it it does have the traditional trench coat aspects this one has a zip and liner so again I'm pretty sure if I wanted to put it in the Wilson's leather one I could if I want to wear this for spring or it's just a little bit too hot I could zip out the liner on this one love that for me and then this is one that has already lived in my closet but I do just want to show you guys because this is bright vibrant purple which I absolutely love again traditional trench coat and all of these are really long I am finding now that I prefer my trench coats to be ankle length I'm not really the hugest fan of the ones that stop below the knee I do have a couple that are just so good I can't get rid of them but I don't wear them as much and I'm not drawn to them as much because I just feel like the ones that are really long are a lot more dramatic and add much more of a statement to your outfit moving along to the last few <laughs> pieces this is again something you would have seen on my Instagram tried it on in the store just to make sure that the buttons met and still gave me enough room to make it blousey but then when I got home I realized that this actually can be worn as a satin shirt dress so I did style it up that way on my Instagram and then I did find this 100% silk Valerie Stevens top in this great jewel tone color I love the fact that it has the pockets I like this button detail right here it also has the same button details right here if you can see them yeah you can see them and I just feel like I'm definitely gonna style this up a lot and then I have this pink one which I love has the gold buttons definitely vintage I thrifted this a few thrift trips ago but I love the fact that this one was short sleeve and I could wear it buttoned up and tucked into some bottoms a skirt shorts or whatever but I can also wear this open perfect for California fall this one I actually got which is from Hope of the Valley I got this one because I love the texture so yeah I just wanted to kind of show you guys those because I love that royal blue 
dark forest emerald green. That's that's my jam. Love those colors. Now these last three pieces I got from Poshmark from somebody who I guess they had just recently hit up an estate sale and found like all the vintage. I'm gonna show you this one. My mom totally laughed at me when I showed her this because I told her I was just gonna be Joan Rivers walking around my house in this like it was nothing. But I saw this, it started life as a dress. I'll actually insert a picture of it right here. When I first saw it, I thought it might have a zipper in the front of it, but I realized it didn't and it was an actual dress. And I knew as cool as it is as a dress, I wasn't going to wear it often as a dress. So when I got it, I went ahead and sliced it down the middle. It already kind of had like an interesting hem right here. So I was able to make it look finished. You can kind of see, we have now made ourselves a kimono. So I will be styling this up and wearing it as a very dramatic kimono, but you will see the way that I styled it up. I styled it up with a super casual look. Like I could literally wear this to the mall and it will just be a conversation piece, nothing too crazy or over the top. I was also able to snag this Le suit tartan plaid houndstooth checked type of jacket i'm not sure what the proper term is but i was just so in love with the colors love the button it's not double breasted but i could tell by the fit that i would still like it i did like the single button and this is so cool to style just even if i wanted to mix it up like with this is really cool or even you'll see i styled these two together there's so many fun jewel tone colors in here last but not least is this baby right here now this has the whole pilgrim collar situation going on with the pleats at the bottom i'm gonna try to show you a picture of what it looked like on the mannequin i had it in my mind that i was going to crop the top and turn the bottom into a high waist skirt and make it kind of like a two-piece set because i thought it was like more of a suit material but then when i got it it was more of a thin lighter material and it just hugged my body in all the right places so i decided which you will have to wait and see on instagram how i style this up but i decided that i am actually going to take the pleats right here and chop them in half and make it shorter that way it gives me more options for how to style it shoe wise because as it is i can only think of one pair of shoes that wouldn't cut me off because i'm only 5'3 that i could wear with this so i wanted to be able to wear it with tennis shoes sneakers i wanted to be able to throw on a leather jacket with it or boots or whatever and still have it look good so i'm actually going to be altering this one myself that is everything that i have picked up recently stay tuned for all the looks that i'm about to style for you i love you so much make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video What can I say any more than desire? More than just a pretty face. So, guy, you better walk away. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Only one love beside other fire. Someone who can handle me. Someone got your heart to be. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. If you try to come closer, I'ma give you some closure. Before you know it, it's over. So, run away, run away. I'm not trying to hurt you, but I will if I have to. I'ma tell you what I do. Run away, run away. Baby, I'm a fighter, never backing down. Baby, I'm a soldier, standing my ground. So if you're gonna fight me for my heart, are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby, I'm a tiger, 20 steps ahead. Baby, I'm a bike for one bite to dead. So if you're gonna fight me for my heart, are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby, I'm a fighter, never backing down. Baby, I'm a soldier, standing my ground. So if you're gonna fight me for my heart, are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby, I'm a tiger, 20 steps ahead. Baby, I'm a bike for one bite to dead. So if you're gonna fight me for my heart, are you gonna get these battle scars? What can I do? Gotta keep every heart safe. So we make it out of life. I don't wanna waste no time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Gotta play nice so I won't give you heartache. Trust me, baby, when I say, girl, you better walk away. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If you try to come closer, I'ma give you some closure before you know it.
so far So run away, run away I'm not trying to hurt you But I will if I have to I'ma tell you what I do Run away, run away Baby I'm a fighter, never backing down Baby I'm a soldier, standing my ground So if you're gonna fight me for my heart Are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby I'm a tiger, 20 steps ahead Baby I'm a viper, one bite the dead So if you're gonna fight me for my heart Are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby I'm a fighter, never backing down Baby I'm a soldier, standing my ground So if you're gonna fight me for my heart Are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby I'm a tiger, 20 steps ahead Baby I'm a bike, go, go bike your dead. So if you're gonna fight me for my 